famous for the Royal Albatross, Tidal Ahead is also home to a whole suite of special and stunning seabirds. Shags, shearwaters, penguins, gulls and spoonbills, diversity like this is rarely found on mainland New Zealand. Let's meet some of these species and learn why they've made Tidal Ahead their home. You could the water that I drink when I so come on, you brothers, you demons. So what species have we got here? Well, this headland is, is really well known internationally for royal albatross, but there's more to this headland than just albatross. There's actually about 10,000 seabirds on this one tiny little headland. And one of the main reasons for that is that there's been ongoing predator control here for about the last 70 years. It's possibly the longest running predator control program in New Zealand and you know we're starting to see the the benefits of that today. So are the populations here significant? Certainly are, I mean certainly for albatross um, being the only mainland breeding site for any albatross in the in the southern hemisphere it's, it's highly significant for albatross but um, even some of the more common species like the red bull gulls here uh, it's a pretty significant place for them as well. There's over 2,000 pairs of those nesting here their population has really increased here in the last 10-15 years Turn the clock back to 15 years ago, may have only been 100 pairs of, of red bill gulls here. One of the things that we noticed that was happening with them is that rats were getting into their eggs. So every season they'd come in and lay their eggs, every season the rat would clean the, the eggs out. So once we dealt with the rats, the gulls responded quite quickly and the population's built up to the largest colony in Otago now. Behind those gulls on the hillside, there's um, also a large colony of sooty shearwaters or mutton birds. Generally during the day, they're out at sea um, foraging, but at night time they'll come back into here. So even though there's a lot of noise going on with the seabirds here now, um, it doesn't go all quiet at night. It's, uh, it's, uh, you've got the sort of night shift coming on then when you've got uh, birds like the shearwaters and also um, blue penguins coming back to this headland uh, to go back to the nest. So is it true that the red billed gull is more threatened than the royal albatross? Well certainly on the um, department's uh, threat ranking classification, red billed gulls are at a higher threat rating than, than royal albatross. It's not just related to a number thing, it's, it's about long-term trends. And with the red bill gulls that we know that although they're doing fantastically here on Tairo Head and, and some of the smaller colonies in Otago, further north, um, up in Kaikoura and around the North Island, there's been some big population crashes of red bill gulls in the last sort of you know, 20 or 30 years. So that's kind of stepped them up in their, in their threat rating. And further around the head we saw some Stewart Island shags. Is, are they a special population here too? The headland's quite unique for a, a number of species. The Stewart Island Shags is one of those. It's their only mainland breeding site here as well. So although we're um, several hundred kilometres actually north of Stewart Island, we're kind of at the northernmost point for that species breeding range. The abundance of bird life at Tairoa Head gives us a glimpse of Aotearoa before the arrival of our ancestors. Now the spectacular diversity can only be enjoyed due to the diligent, ongoing conservation work of Lyndon and the many volunteers dedicated to keeping this slice of New Zealand truly pristine. You 